A couple of videos ago I did a tutorial on materials, I introduced you guys to the different shaders you can use in uh, Unity, but in this video I'm just going to use them in uh, a practical example, um, a real world case, we're going to just make a little room here. I've got a uh, a couple of planes, I've got a floor, two walls and I want to use this as a gate. I've only, this is just a five minute job guys, I've just uh, got some textures, I've got a stone wall and a bump map for a stone wall and uh, the stone floor as well as you can see here and I've got a couple of textures for the actual gate which I just spent about 10 seconds on so <laughs> it's not the best quality but uh, my point will come across so these are bump maps so what I want to do is I want to change the texture type to a normal map click apply and do the same here alright guys remember to do that for your bump maps and um, let's make this a bit objects so they make more sense floor uh, let's change this to I don't know, wall left, wall right, and uh, let's call this one gate. The first thing I want to do is actually put the materials on on uh, on these. So I'm going to create a new material, call this one floor, and I'm going to change it to a bump diffuse. Uh, for the normal texture, we've got the uh, stone floor. For the bumps, we've got the stone floor bump map, which looks a bit dodgy now, but <laughs> I'm sure it'll work. Um, what have I done? There we go. Stone floor bump map. All right, guys. So as you can see, it's kind of looks 3D here. The 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 lighter shade of grey will raise the bump. The darker shade will decrease it, as you can see here. So uh, the main colour, it's kind of a grey, isn't it? So let's do that. Let's make it a bit, I don't know, stone like if you want, and uh, let's drag it on straight away it's a bit dark it's a bit big so I want to change the tiling a bit let's put uh, 3 3 let's do it again here 3 3 this just changes the scale um, the offset just moves the texture in, uh, inwards in the X and Y so I don't want to do that but we can't see the bump yet guys because we need a light we need a I'm gonna put a directional light in there you should put a directional light in all your scenes to light it up and um, when I rotate as you can as you can see the the bump kind of reacts to the direction of the light which is cool um, let's put the intensity down to 0 0.1 and uh, this makes it a bit darker because it's a dark room okay let's leave it like that alright so that's our floor, it's simple as that guys, you can make a floor look nice with just a couple of textures let's do the wall now, let's create a new material again call it wall, uh, again a bump to defuse drag our textures in there, stone wall uh, stone wall bump, whoops did that again alright guys and that looks pretty nice doesn't it, it's like 3D like um, let's drag it on there and on there it's a bit stretched out so I'm just going to change the X tiling to 2 it looks a bit nicer so um, as simple as that guys we've got our, uh, whoop, don't want to save it got our little scene going on here and uh, the next thing I want to do is make a gate and to do that we're going to use another material uh, let's call it gate and for this one I'm going to use a transparency map so transparent and a cutout alright guys and diffuse and here I've just um, oh, it doesn't really show in uh, this editor but if I put it on the gate the texture is a transparent texture I made in Photoshop if I drag it on here you can see it so I've just uh, made a couple of simple shapes and left the rest of the image transparent and in unity it will also be transparent so this will save a lot of overhead guys uh, if you've got a choice between modeling a gate and modeling all the different pipes and stuff or just drawing it out in Photoshop and putting it in you know do the Photoshop option it will save you a lot of time a lot of overhead within Unity so that is that alright the next thing I wanted to do is make a uh, a, uh, a spotlight uh, rotate it a bit and I'm going to put the cookie that what I made for the gate on here guys I made a cookie video a few videos back it, um, so here's our cookie I've already changed the texture type to a cookie and make sure it's out from grayscale otherwise it won't work so if we put the cookie on here gate cookie um, I'm going to increase the range and as you can see we can see the light shining through already uh, let's line it up a little bit it's kind of in the right place, drag it up a bit let's put the intensity up a bit guys and uh, change the colour a bit to a, to a red, that's alright, looks alright 
so this is just a static texture um, it doesn't change and this is a lot cheaper as well than making a a, a dynamic light in unity guys and if you haven't got unity pro you can't do the lights anyway so the the cookies are a really nice way to to add lighting to add very cheap lighting to your levels uh, and to make this a bit nicer I'm just going to put in another light let's put a uh, point light let's put it in the corner just to make th things a bit nicer let's make a red colour uh, and we can change the range a little bit change the intensity and uh, so as you can see guys it's very simple to make a scene in unity using just a couple of materials you can just make your simple textures in photoshop um, if you google uh, texture tiles guys like stone texture tile all right you'll find some tiles on online um, when I say tiled I mean this 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 uh, image can tile itself and repeat perfectly you won't see any difference uh, so yeah uh, play around with this guys I just wanted to use my um, my theory from previous videos and put it into a real world use and we've just made a nice little scene here if I turn around as you can see the shaders in unity the default shaders are one-sided which saves even more overhead uh, so that's another thing to to keep in mind so that's it guys uh, thanks for watching the video more decent uh, unity tutorials coming up alright so thanks a lot